children now see the workbook part that is uh, time to answer answer the following questions which comes under conceptual understanding first one why do birds fly what is the first question why do birds fly children you know that uh, bird is a flying feather creature okay and with the two wings okay with the two wings and two legs the birds have two wings and two legs it can fly in the sky and travel long distances in air so with the help of the wings and the feathers it can fly in the sky i mean it covers long distances so that is the reason the bird fly and the birds fly for the purpose of food for the purpose of shelter for the purpose of mating that is reproduction so here the bird is a flying feathered creature with two wings and two legs it can fly in the sky and travel long distances in air second question how many types of feathers does a bird have name them how many types of feathers does a bird have so here there are six types of birds feathers they are flight feathers counter feathers down feathers semi plume feathers bristle feathers and philopium feathers so here once again there are six types of bird feathers they are flight feathers counter feathers down feathers semi plume feathers bristle feathers and philopium feathers okay chalo now see the third question how do birds fly we know that birds fly but how let's see birds fly with the help of flapping movement of their wings like this 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 is called as flapping they they, they flap like this children next one name three birds fourth question which do not fly we know that maximum 90% of the birds will fly but there are some birds which do not fly let's see the birds which do not fly are kiwi this is famous in new zealand ostrich which is the largest and heaviest bird and penguin found in antarctica region in cold areas so the three birds which do not fly are kiwi ostrich and penguin fifth question name two birds that eat grains and seeds sparrows and pigeons we see daily in our uh, nearby houses also sparrows and pigeons eat grains and seeds okay children now see the sixth question name two flightless birds flightless means which cannot fly ostrich and weka are examples of flightless birds seventh question why do birds build nests so what is the reason why these birds build nests birds build nests because they need a safer place to lay eggs if the nests are not there if they lay eggs on the roads or in the open area it might uh, it might be danger for their eggs why because so many animals and so so many accident accidentally they i mean the eggs are broken uh, there there may be a chance to break the eggs also so that is the reason they need a safer place so the safer place is the nest only and incubate incubate means the developing of the development of the nestling or the baby bird inside the egg that is called as incubate and raise their brood brood means i told you already that is the nestling or baby bird so birds build nests because they need a safer place to lay eggs incubate and raise their brood okay children now see b fill up the blanks using the clue kit the clue kit is given down children the clues are wings flight webbed flightless down hooked prey now see the first one in birds four arms are replaced by see children we have four arms but in birds the four arms are replaced by yes wings second one the feathers which keep the body of a bird warm are called down feathers third one dash feathers help the bird to fly which feathers children flight feathers flight feathers are useful for flying a parrot has hooked beak to crack the nuts and seeds hooked water birds have webbed or wading feet for swimming 
Vultures and eagles are dash birds, praying birds. They are carnivorous. They eat the flesh of other animals. A kiwi is a flightless bird which cannot fly. So these are the answers. First one is a wing. Second one is a down. Third one is a flight. Fourth one is hooked. Fifth one is webbed or wading. Sixth one is praying. And seventh one is flightless. Okay. So let's now see. The third one, write yes or no for the following statements. These are hard questions. Hard means higher order thinking questions. First one, swallow is a bird, has a strong and chisel shaped beak. It says yes or no? No. A duck has a broad and flat beak? No. Birds like kiwi, crane and ostrich do not fly at all? Yes. They are flightless birds. The bird's bones are hollow and filled with air. That is the reason they are able to fly. Yes. Eagle, vulture and kites are called praying birds. Yes. They are carnivores. They eat the flesh of other animals. Birds use feathers to collect material for their nests. Do they use feathers children? No. So once again you see the first one is no. Second one no. Third one is yes. Fourth one is yes. Fifth one is yes. And last one is no. So here these are the yes or no statements children. Okay. Children now see the question on communication. This is a match the claw with the name of a bird in column B. So in column B we have the name of the birds like duck, hen, hawk and crow. And in column A we have types of beak. Okay. So who could beak? Long and pointed beak. Small, hard and pointed. Long and slender. What you have to do? We have figures here. See children. We have figures. 1, 2, 3, 4. The birds, figures and here the class. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 class are here. Now you have to write the number. Okay. Write the number. For example, if it is A, B, C, D. If it is A, B, C, D, you have to write A, B, C, D here. If it is 1, 2, 3, 4, you have to match with these birds the types of beaks here. 1, 2, 3, 4, you have to write. Okay. Now let's see the answers. Now let's see the matching children. We have, I told you already, four figures, four birds are here. You have to match with column A and class with column B. So first one is, what is this children? Long and pointed beak. That is why I wrote the number 2. Why? Because 2 is long and pointed beak. And next one is 3. So this is small, hard and pointed. Small, hard and pointed. I wrote 3 here. Okay. So next one is long. Next one here. See children. Uh, if you will go for here. See. Long and slender. Long and slender. I wrote 4 here. And uh, last one you can see here. Who could be? Parrot. Who could be? So I, I wrote 1 here. 2, 3, 4, 1. So here first one is uh, 2 children. Long and pointed. This is long and pointed. Second one is small, uh, hard and pointed. And third one is uh, long and slender. And fourth one is uh, hooked beak. Now let's go for the second side. That is uh, you have to match with the class with the birds. Okay. So the first one is uh, D. This is crow. And second one is A. This is a duck webbed feet. And this is a third one is hawk. Okay. This is a hawk. And last one is crow. Last one is a crow. So here see, see children. You will, if you observe the first boxes and the second boxes. These are matching with the types of the beaks. These are matching with the okay class. So first one is uh, what is the first one? First one is here see children. So first one is crow. This is crow. Okay. Second one is a duck webbed feet and uh, third one if you will observe the third one that is hawk. Okay. And last one. So this is uh, okay. What is this remaining hen children? What is this hen? D D A C B D A C B Okay, so D first one is a D children crow second one is A is a duck third one is C hawk fourth one is a, okay B hen and this side two three four one 
two this is a long and pointed beak and uh, three small hard and pointed okay and uh, next one is uh, here four long and slender and last one is hooked beak last one is hooked beak so these are the match the following with the beaks and with the class okay the birds are there okay children now see this is the information skills name of the birds for each type in the left hand side the type of the bird is given example 1 example 2 and example 3 so flesh eating perching wading can swim cannot fly underground living birds those which live underground and grasping food so these are the left hand side now we have to write the examples minimum two or three flesh eating those which are carnivores for example is vulture and eagle perching sparrow sparrow crow which makes the sound perching wading crow crane and woodpecker can swim duck and penguin duck and penguin cannot fly cannot fly penguin kiwi and ostrich penguin kiwi and ostrich these three birds cannot fly underground living birds all squares cliff swallow grasping foot hawk and all grasping foot is hawk and all so once again see here the types of the birds and the examples are given the types of the birds and the examples are given first one flesh eating is vulture and eagle perching is parrot sparrow crow wading is crow crane woodpecker can swim is a duck and penguin and next one cannot fly is a penguin kiwi and ostrich next one underground living birds underground living birds is all squaws and cliff swallow grasping food is hawk and all okay children now this is a student activity you have to do children fit the words into the squares these, these words are here first one is bird second one is winter third one is food fourth one is tree fifth one is nest sixth one is south seventh one is flying so first one is vertical second one is horizontal again third one is horizontal okay fourth one is horizontal fifth one is horizontal sixth one is vertical and seventh one is vertical now you have to use your brain and you have to fit these words in the boxes which are given below even the clues are also there the diagrams are given nearby so you have to fit these uh, words into concerned boxes here. So this is uh, the student activity. Okay. Children, so now it's time to do the project work. So take page number 66. Uh, the project work is given. First one, draw any three types of birds in the chart. Paste them wherever you like. So first project work is draw three types of birds, any three types of birds in the chart and paste them wherever you like in the classroom or house or wherever. Second one, collect pictures of birds from old magazines. Old magazines are old books. Paste them on the chart and display in the school notice board. So you have to collect the birds, the collect the pictures of birds from the magazines or books and paste them on a chart and display in your school third one this is there see children this is you can see the figure the bird is there the nest is down now you have to help the bird to get its nest in this uh, board so these are the three projects okay now let's go for the life skills for a long long time the chubby chirpy house sparrow lived in our miss in plenty so this is see children the house sparrow for a long time in the olden days and the recent times also the sparrows are declining because of the human activity but here it is given for a long time the chubby chippy house sparrow used to make the chirping sounds now you can't find them in an urban environment anymore urban means cities we can't find these sparrows in the cities and in the villages are so very rare all this has happened in a span of just a few years. They are disappearing because of electromagnetic radiation from communication towers especially established for the purpose of signals for cell phones. So for the signals for cell phones we have established the towers and from the, for the, from the towers electromagnetic radiation is coming and due to that radiation these birds are dying. 
okay so that's what uh, you have seen in that movie robo 2 yes or no so we must think about it we have to protect the sparrows not only sparrows any bird you can take any animal whether it is harmful or useful we should not kill indiscriminately why because it creates ecological imbalance that is the reason we have to protect our nature we should not kill any plant we should not kill any animal okay